We launched a Mars probe called the Mars Global Surveyor, MGS, back in 1996, 97, around there. Mars Global Surveyor was launched to enter Mars orbit pole to pole. And when you enter a polar orbit, it gives you certain advantages if you have a camera with you. So as you orbit the planet, the planet rotates inside of your orbit. So every time you come around the backside, there's a new strip for you to photograph. And you come around, there's a strip over here, it turns some more, another strip. And you keep doing this and you mosaic all the strips together in high resolution imagery. So this missions such as that are what's responsible when we do photo reconnaissance of objects, planets, moons, asteroids that we intend to visit. There's scads of data that came back from Mars Global Surveyor. Well, every now and then somebody finds a feature. Someone discovered a structure that looks like a square that has a little, a little sort of sharp right angle to it. Well, that's, that's interesting. Okay. The enhanced images puts sort of extra sharp edges in there and completes an entire square. The enhanced images really help you think it's something other than a natural formation. So let me stick to the original image here. What could it be? You don't see many right angles in nature. No, not at all. Especially a surface subject to asteroid strikes. Most ridges you will see are arced. That's what's most common. Okay. But Mars has very real evidence of running water in the past, for example. And water can carve ridges and rills that can be round or can be straight. If I remember correctly, Mars has the same land area as Earth. Okay? So, in other words, if you take the, the land area of Earth, you can clad the entire surface of Mars with it. So now you can ask, if I had that much surface area to pour over, what kinds of things might I see?